Uh, there was this thing that I came across which was really thought provoking for me. They spoke about, uh, Sri Aurobindo spoke about, he spoke about three levels or three kinds of uh, partnerships, if you can call them. He said there is one at the vital level, vital partnership, there is psychic partnership and then there is spiritual partnership. So my question is, how do I find the spiritual partner and how do I know or no, recognize? Just, just the same way you find the right guru. Go back to that question. Okay. The authenticity in my core. You must know what you are seeking from the person. Hmm. If you get it from that person, you are with the right person. Hmm. 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 What are you looking for? What are you seeking? Hmm. If you are just looking for decent looks and uh, you know somebody to accompany you to the movies hmm. then anybody would do hmm. but if you are looking really to not to make a waste of your life hmm. and if you are looking to someone who who just refreshes hmm. you gives you freedom from all the stillness we carry within from all these centuries hmm. then you will find the right person hmm. what are you looking for hmm? Hmm. so the right partner is not determined by the attributes of the partner hmm. the right partner is determined and achieved hmm. by the intensity of your hunger your inquiry hmm. Just as I said, you go and ask the right questions from the Guru and if the Guru comes a cropper, you leave. Similarly, even with your partner, mm. hmm, you need to ask certain questions. Maybe not in the same way you, you formally uh, inquire from a Guru. Mm. But the essence of the question has to be the same because the essence of the suffering is the same. Are you a different person in front of the teacher and a different one in front of the partner? No, that's not the same, right? Mm. So the, the suffering consciousness is the same. Mm. Even when you are in with your with, irrespective of who you are with actually. Mm. Mm. Mother, father, your dog, your cat. Mm. Huh? The purpose has to be a one. The purpose is I have to be better. Mm. Not in the sense of earning more money. Mm. 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 I have to be better inwardly. I have to come out of this inner haze. Hmm? Does my dog help me with that? Hmm. You, you have to be austere and um, rigorous to that extent. You know, I know many people would, would hear this and laugh. That does uh, even a, a dog need to be measured on a spiritual yardstick? Yes, of course. Hmm. Why must you keep a pet? I get it. Huh? If the pet is going to make your life hell. Hmm. Hmm. No? Hmm. Every single thing that you do, you must ask, is it going to liberate me from my bondages and my ignorance? Why must I, why must I wear a ring? Why must I wear an earring? Why must I comb my hair this way? Why must I, oh, hmm. why must I take a walk to the shop? Hmm. Why must I, why must I breathe? Why must I wake up every morning? Why must I do that? The purpose has to be liberation and one has to be absolutely one-minded on that. Mm. Hmm? No wavering, no second thoughts. I know why I exist because I know how I exist. Mm. Once you know how you exist, you know why you exist. Hmm? How do you exist? You exist in agony and therefore why do you exist? You exist for liberation. Mm. Are you with me? So, it's not a complicated question at all. Huh? Men, women all have this question and it has been romanticized endlessly and it has been turned into something mysterious, mm, as they say these days, mystical. You know, how can you know whether the heavens have really chosen that particular face for you? The heavens have chosen nothing. Your angst has to choose its doctor. Mm. But that's so unromantic. Am I supposed to choose a doctor? I mean, I mean come on. I'm, I'm looking to visit a dispothy, not a hospital. Right. 
I, I want to go to Switzerland and you are sending me to Apollo hospitals. Hmm. I mean, why, why do you talk of the partner as a doctor? Hmm. But the partner has to be a doctor. Because, because, because you are a patient. a patient, you are sick and you don't want to acknowledge that because you are pretty. Hmm. I'm, I'm so handsome, I'm so tall, how can I call myself hmm. a patient? Hmm. Hmm. You are a patient. Better have some humility and acknowledge that. Yeah. And then you will know the one to partner. Hmm. Otherwise you will be in all kinds of wrong relationships. Hmm. And they come in the garb of the promise initially, but mm. then it all comes off, you know, I mean, you know, thoda... Promises anybody can make. The thing is, if I really want something, I'll test the promise, no? Are those promises ever validated? Do we pass them through scrutiny? No, we don't. Why? Oh, yeah, we are not bothered, not bothered. I may write there that... Uh, I am very concerned about me not getting infected. But am I even bothering to ask that person, Sir, are you vaccinated? Hmm. Sir, are you vaccinated? I don't even bother to ask that person whether he is vaccinated. And I keep telling myself, you know, I care so much about my health and public health in general. Hmm. Hmm. So all these are, are, are games we play with ourselves. We tell ourselves one thing, whereas we live a totally different thing. Mm. It's not others that deceive us. We keep deceiving ourselves endlessly. Mm. 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 And the funny thing is, when we discover that others too have deceived us, we cry ourselves dry. Mm. 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 <laughs> how, how can you complain now? The very name of the game was deception. He was deceiving you. You were deceiving him or her. Mm. He was deceiving himself and you were deceiving yourself. yourself. All kinds of permutations, combinations in deception were happening all the time. Now that something has come up, mm. you are crying. Mm. Explain. So, uh, once you've gone through, you know, the the path of obviously stumbling down and then discovering who you are, even after that, there are, I mean, it is happening. So, they will pop up, right? In the garb of uh, test, test, looking test, right, test. And looking in the sense not looking right. Mm. I mean, I'm, we are obviously not that shallow anymore. So, looking in the sense, oh, all like no, they're, they're all deeper than that see, and all see, that. See. So, does, does how do you spot a lie? <laughs> does an infected person mm. look different from a normal person? No, no, no. Not so, what all. do you do? Mm. You test, test, test. Mm. Hmm? Always carry RT PCR kits mm -hmm. with you. Keep testing. Mm. By the looks, you will never know whether the fellow is infected yeah. or not. Mm. You must test. and. How will you test? Mm. Through your own angst, through your own inquiry. So is there no depth left in the men anymore? I mean, I mean, I mean, what? What is the game? Predominantly. If there is no depth left in the men, huh? and women are usually unable to see that, is there any depth left in women either? Had there been, I mean, generalizing, you are generalizing, I am generalizing, but let's play this game. Hmm. If there is no depth in the man hmm. and the woman still falls prey to the man, what kind of depth does the woman have? Hmm. Correct. Hmm? Hmm. That's the utility of depth. You don't fall prey to shallowness. Hmm. Without the real thing, nothing in life falls in the right place. Mm. At times, we might be deluded into thinking that things are going well with us. They cannot. Mm. We cannot. Even if it is happening, 
it is going to be very short lived and the end is going to be tragic hmm? you can happily run your car on a flat tire for 2 kilometers hmm. and then hmm? Hmm. you can have a powerful steering we have we have power steerings these days and the engine is very powerful 200 horsepower and you are an insensitive driver hmm. so you don't quite notice the vibrations in the vehicle for 2 kilometers you can happily run the vehicle even at 60 or 80 miles an hour with a flat tire that's all hmm. and then when somebody calls you up or or gestures from outside hey hey he is such a fool he is unnecessarily uh, raising a scene hmm. all these are conspiracy theorists i am so happily riding my vehicle hmm. and the fellow is warning me from there and playing it up hmm. they don't like my happiness and hmm? that's what so many people verbally or non verbally say to me they may not say that but it's writ large on their faces and we are so happy probably don't like our happiness hmm i want you to be really happy huh? i know the thing that you call as happiness i know how deceptive it is and what kind of pain it would leave you with mm. therefore i i'm warning you against false happiness mm. i'm not an enemy of happiness i don't like the this, this movement into deeper and deeper pain in the name of happiness personal problem social problem global problem there is just one problem <laughs> hmm? yeah. unless we address that we can have a thousand names to a thousand problems yeah. and it's very easy to address that and very difficult to address that because that problem is not outside of us that problem is within us that problems lies in our very build hmm? so it's easy because the problem is near it's difficult because the problem is within you know in this book that i read um uh, david epstein it's uh it did quite well actually it's called generalists why generalists triumph in a specialized world so there are so many things many times one is endowed with like personally for me i'm drawn to a lot of stuff So basically do I do it all is it possible to do it all I'm drawn towards all the stuff in the pharmacist's place <laughs> Okay I got it <laughs> Yeah 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 Which medicine do you? Which sickness do you? Which medicine you use to treat your sickness, basically? Yeah. First thing is acknowledgement of the sickness. Yeah. That decides the medicine, and that uh, then rejects 
all the needless medication mm. needless medication is very close to more sickness no mm. all that in ignorance of the real disease i was talking more work wise in the sense there's music there are a lot of things so even no, doesn't matter all these are objects okay the in faces our, change uh, in our sensory world hmm. we need to know who we are and therefore what is it that suits us hmm skill wise at points in my life i have been good at certain sports i have been good at mathematics i have been good at engineering i have been good at management i have been good at acting what is it that i need to do mm. no mm. it's just not that i feel talented in some space so i take that space up mm, amazing talent is such a foolish thing mm. Hmm? I would have probably made a good physicist but is that the need of my consciousness hmm wow this is good hmm even today if i if there is one thing that attracts me beyond vedant it's physics i even taught physics and data analytics what is that where my real need lies is that where the sickness of the world lies hmm. hmm what does the world need if i become a physicist that's not going to heal the world hmm we already have enough physicists concerned with this question are the words of passion calling and all such things no but i feel so passionate about about what let's say give me something singing singing yeah. Now there's hardly anybody who does not feel passionate about singing. But hello. Hmm. No? I'm not against singing. Hmm. Anybody in India who is not passionate about cricket? Seventy-four point six percent India wants to get into the national cricket team. Yeah. Either cricket or acting or singing. Yeah. Those who who cannot make it. to the van khede stadium mm. want to make it to the studios hmm? either the stadium or the studio so that pretty much covers up the, the 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 entire population of the country hello to hoots to passion you see what you must do mm. not what you are inclined to do mm. Mm. being born in india obviously you would be inclined to take the ball or the bat in hand i too was inclined that's not what i'm going to do hmm? or perhaps use your singing in a way that it is conducive now, to serve the purpose now now that makes sense what sort of but songs again, are you singing but again you have to determine if 
your songs are just a means towards some higher end, then are songs the best means towards that end? Hmm. Hmm. If the end is the important thing, then are the songs the best means? If they are, hmm. continue with singing. Hmm. If they are not, pick that up which would be most efficient in taking you towards your goal. So, but Meera sang bhajans of Krishnaji too. Meera succeeded with songs in reaching Krishna. Not everybody succeeded with songs in reaching Krishna. You have to ask yourself, is Krishna important or the songs? Huh? Hmm. The answer would be Krishna, if you are honest. If Krishna is important, are songs the best way? If the answer is yes, continue with singing. If the answer is no, do not deceive yourself. Pick some other way. Hmm. If you persist with singing, irrespective of knowing that this is not taking you to Krishna, then singing is more important for you than Krishna hmm. and that is bad. Hmm. I like it, lovely. Were Meera asked to pick between her bhajans and Krishna, hmm. what would she choose? Krishna. Huh. Bhajans were good for her only because they were 100 percent aligned with her love for Krishna. Hmm. Bhajans are secondary, hmm. Krishna is primary. Mm. 